Hey, welcome back to Madison's Avenue. I'm Madison Turner, and today I wanted to talk to you about awards and advertising and a petition going around called Can We Not? I'm gonna start with what is CAN? What is CAN? So CAN is a festival that's held in CAN, France. Um, it's an advertising festival very similar to the film festival. It's actually what it was inspired by back in the 40s. So in advertising, the most coveted award you can win is a Cannes Golden Lion. It's a prestigious award. It's only won by very few people in the world. And to, own, to have one and possess one is a very big deal. Think of it like the Cannes Film Festival. Um, red carpets. Not, it's not as glamorous, but it is as bougie and um, extravagant. Uh, this year, however, due to what's going on around the world, the Cannes um, Advertising Festival decided not to have an event this year, which is great. It's a really good idea, social distancing. So instead, they have decided to issue a statement, which I'm going to read. To all entrants, it is more important than ever for us to do everything we can to help those who have been impacted most by layoffs due to the current situation. While we have always been the competition sends that sends winners to can, what our community needs most now is financial support. Effective immediately, cash prizing will be awarded to winning teams. Gold, 5,000, silver, 2,500, bronze, 1,250. If you have any questions, please contact us. Asterix, cash prizes to be split amongst winning team members. So, now entry is officially free and open to everyone. Um, you can not be in advertising and contribute to this. Uh, you can say you're a freelancer and contribute. Um, it's pretty open. There are currently five briefs on the National Advertising Competition website, and I encourage you to read them and submit. Also, I encourage you to win <laughs> and use those earnings to help your community. I think it would be really great if you chose to support your community with that money. As uh, we all know, people in advertising make a lot of money. And I know that a lot of people in advertising have been laid off and they don't have jobs right now. And um, this might not be a popular opinion, but we don't need advertising in the world right now. And it's unfortunate, but we do need a lot of other jobs to be covered. And I think it takes a lot of courage to, to do that, to take up a minimum wage job and help your people in your community instead of looking for jobs that don't exist right now. Um, and I, I understand that that's hard to hear. I get it. I work from home too. I can't work right now either. Um, another option is donating that award money to the employees that are involved in the brief. Um, the people who produce that product or service that you are potentially creating for. Loblaws is a pretty good example. They're currently up there right now. Um, if I win personally, I will be donating it to Loblaws. I don't know what that means. I don't know how to do that. Um, and But I will find the most morally and ethical way possible to do that if I win. The point of CAN is to attend the seminars and to meet other creatives from around the world, to socialize and to engage. and. It's extremely unfortunate that people in advertising are struggling right now um, and they may be in need of financial support and that's rough and I'm so sorry if you are one of those people. I really am. It's, it's a catastrophe. Like, it's honestly not okay. Something pretty terrible in the world happened and it affects every industry right now and one of the industries that the world doesn't really need, it's not a necessity, is advertising. And that's a hard pill to swallow. Um, we just don't need it at all, to be honest. But we have it. And we have a lot of people who are supported by that industry. We have families. We have entire generations that are in advertising. Usually about a day or so later, you'll start to notice like some develops developments in like corporations and brands after a catastrophe happens. They feel this urge to send a message. Um, advertising and brand involvement can be 
very positive, but it can also produce a very negative message and also have a very negative effect on people and their emotions and their mental health, as well as the planet and the environment and how certain things are made and how they're produced. Um, if advertising is all about making a brand money, they want to save money when it comes to advertising. So how do we make this for as little as possible? And how do we make this as ethically as possible should be our main concerns in advertising moving forward in 2020 is my opinion. I think that brands can offer to make hand sanitizer and masks, but what they can't do is relate to what we actually need. And we should definitely not be rewarding them for behavior or turning a naive eye to advertising. Um, locally, a woman posted a, a Facebook video asking for people to sew caps and masks, specifically caps that had buttons that you could put your mask over because of the ear problem that we're having uh, with our healthcare workers. Um, they're getting very raw behind their ear and it's uh, affecting their work. So this way, it's they're handmade by the community. Um, they have HEPA filters involved. I'll link all of the sewing patterns down below. Um, so to make it a little bit easier for you, if you feel like helping in that way and contributing that in your community, I highly encourage that. It's working in London, Ontario, and I know it's working in a few other places as well. With all of that, uh, we need to keep asking questions of our brands and our advertisers and demand answers um, in order to protect ourselves, um, our future generations, and the planet we live on, as cheesy as that sounds. It's true. I'll give you an example. Um, questions that I would ask a brand specifically in regards to making masks, for example, would be how are you making them and are they effective? Have you had time to test them? Do they have all of the requirements for droplet prevention? Or can we be confident when we wear them? Would you wear one? Would you put one on your kid? How soon will they be arriving? When could we expect them? Do we know where they're going to go first or who will get them first? Do we know if we'll get more than one? Do we know if um, they're going to have your brand name on them? And is there anything else like that that we need to be aware of before we just accept this gift of promise from you? How they're being made is a huge question for me because what's going on in the world right now is irreversible and we can't go back in time. So making solutions without going through proper procedures isn't doing anyone any good. It's just putting a band-aid over a problem that's just gonna get bigger. And if we can't understand how the sanitizer is made or how it's packaged or where it was sourced or why they chose that plastic and why there's a label on it which can't be recycled then i think we're missing the point and we're not holding these brands accountable for the problems that they're actually causing and it's not our advertisers fault it's people in between it's everyone involved in the process that can stand up and say no actually i think this bottle isn't recyclable and we shouldn't be sending these out to everyone in the world with hand sanitizer in it um, because it will hurt the world, literally. Um, it'll end up in our oceans or something. It'll end up in a documentary. Um, but it definitely shouldn't end up at an award ceremony because there wasn't a lot of thought that went into it, truly. Like, see a need, fill a need is the job. However, what's the cause and effect? Do you just care about brand loyalty or do you actually want to provide us with masks and hand sanitizer. Since you've told us that, we don't have it. So when is it coming? I guess. Um, it's my question. So what do we do next, right? There's the petition that I'm going to link below um, to ban advertisers from entering any pandemic related work into the award festival. And the petition is called Can We Not? C-A-N-N-E-S-W-E-N-O-T. 
and their website is down below as well. On their website, they write, because this is not an ad, because it's not the Super Bowl or a new holiday, this is not a cultural moment. It's a humanitarian catastrophe. We should treat this the same way we do when there's a natural disaster or any other outbreak before. It's not an opportunity for impressions. It isn't the time to be creative. It's the time to step up and help. If we can get the major award shows to place a ban on Voldemort related entries, we will send a stronger message about how our our advertising budgets should be spent during a global humanitarian crisis. With the words off the table, we can curb the urge to prioritize industry recognition during a calamity. As we approach one of the darkest hours in modern human history, let's go down on the right side of it, not with awards and creativity in mind, but with the well-being of humanity, society, our friends and families, our futures and our lives in mind. An extremely powerful and important message. Alternatively to CAN, um, you could choose to participate in the United Nations brief, which is open. It's There's no prize, there's no entry fee, um, and their messages are helpful to our current situation. You'd be providing people with literal help under a hashtag that is seen by a lot of people, which actually makes a difference today. Um, it's called a one minute brief, so it's essentially not supposed to take you that long and um, you're just supposed to put what you can into it. Um, it can be anything you want and you guessed it, the link's down there. So try that too. Um, for me, I'm planning on doing both. So I am also trying to get my sewing machine out of my storage unit, um, which is very difficult to do because they're closed but um, I'm also trying to locate some fabric and some filters. So this isn't an easy time for anyone. However, we all know that and supporting each other is something we can really do right now. And it's so important. And I think we all know that. If we don't, then I hope we do now. Um, thank you for tuning in and um, listening to my little part of the internet. Uh, I hope that you feel healthy and safe and positive right now. I know that this is a really difficult time and that's really hard to do. Trust me, I get it. Um, I also hope that if you are not feeling that way, that you have somebody with you that can help you or that you can talk to about it because it's really important and you matter. Um, you may just be one person, but you do matter. And if you need to, please reach out for help. If isolating and creating is what makes you happy, then that's okay too. And it's okay to not um, indulge every message that you get asking for conversations. That's okay to not feel guilty about that. And I hope that all of this information encourages you to get a little creative and make some really amazing work for everyone in our community. I think that artists working for community members is probably the, sorry, I think artists working for our own communities is probably the best antidote to depression and anxiety and humor is probably the best solution to help with the edge of the world. And I really hope that you're okay. Um, thank you again and I love you.